Binge Pipe is chill and distant about bringing back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. We'll figure out how to monetize later. Welcome to You Don't Know Jack. I'm usually Cookie Masterson, but Binge Pipe wanted to focus test some new names, so today I'm Hortense McFart Body. Great. Eight players. Yeah. I've definitely been to a party with eight people before, but why are you even asking? I mean, come on. And welcome to all of you in the audience who couldn't be bothered to buy the game. I'm adding an audience bonus just for you. The better the audience does on a question, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really tanks it, that right answer is going to be worth big bucks. Let's forge ahead. Time for question one. First on the docket, like lambs to the slather. If Buffalo Bill, the serial killer from Silence of the Lambs, were to run out of lotion, what lamb byproduct could he substitute into his creepy catchphrase? It rubs the castorium on its skin, it rubs the lanolin on its skin, it rubs the shellac on its skin, or it rubs the ambergris on its skin. Hope you like what you picked. Castorium is a secretion from a beaver's anus, commonly used as a food additive, especially to make artificial vanilla flavor. And it's your fault for getting this wrong and making us all learn that. <coughs> Lanolin is a fatty substance that's extracted from sheep or lamb wool, and it's used in ointments. And how'd the audience fare? Looks like a good chunk of this audience is just jabbing buttons at random. That means the right answer is worth a little extra. We'll see if your luck holds out. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Try this on for size. Good for what ails ya. If I made my home-brewed beer more hoppy by adding Mexican jumping beans, what would a connoisseur say about what makes the beer hop? I detect a note of bee feces. I like the aftertaste of boiling acid. It's really balanced by the bat saliva. Or, wow, you can really taste the moth larvae. Let's see who got it. Here's an aftertaste of wrong. Wait for it. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Feces. <laughs> well, nobody got this one, so um, let's just move on with our lives. Mexican jumping beans contain moth larvae, which is what makes them jump or hop. I hear moths are really attracted to light beer. Why don't we do it with cream? Let's try synchronized siblings. And let's do a mic check because it's time for a dis or dat. Dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven movies or TV shows with brother in the title. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a story where the brothers form a band or musical act or the brothers do not form a band. Answer quick. You'll only have a few seconds to choose between a bro band movie or a no band movie. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Here it comes. The Naked Brothers Band. Band of Brothers.
peppers. Like humanity in general, most of you are just okay. But you all, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Uh-oh! Binge Pipe diagnosticates that someone is pouting. Looks like it's screw time. Haha, <laughs> that's correct, Binge Pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. Just one more benefit of your Binge Pipe membership. You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question for. Here's one I like to call This Time Machine Runs on Diesel. If Vin Diesel traveled back in time and convinced Jane Austen to write a sequel to one of her classic novels, what Fast and Furious inspired title would it have? Too Sound, Too Fury, Too Pride, Too Prejudice, Too Old Man, Too Sea, or Too War- Well, well. Player 5 has invoked the screw. Binge Pipe doesn't like it when I shout at you, but they're fine with this. So who got it? Jane Austen wrote the timeless classic, Pride and Prejudice. To pride, to prejudice, haughty conversations just got haughtier. Nicely screwed, player five. Have some cash. I call this one Speaking of sequels, Zayvin Diesel convinced Jane Austen to write four sequels, all mirroring the Fast and Furious sequel titles. What should Pride and Prejudice 5 be called? Proud 5? Brace yourself. Player 4 has screwed you all. Hey, has this question lost some weight? So what'd you pick? Any last words? Not too late. <laughs> the fifth Fast and Furious movie was titled Fast Five. So please, stop tweeting at me saying I don't do enough Fast and the Furious references. Oh, excellent screwing player four. Here's your extra cash. Say goodbye to round one. Clearly this isn't a popularity contest because here's the scoreboard. Currently, player five is in the lead. Enough fun. It's time to get serious. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. I feel good about this. Six trombones is not a parade. And now... Throwing shade. What emoji would I use if I were throwing nightshade at all my haters on the internet? Avocado emoji, peanut emoji, peach emoji, or eggplant emoji? Okay, what'd you pick? Eggplant is a member of the nightshade family of vegetables. Eggplants are not poisonous, unlike some other nightshades, or my fragile emotions. J'ai mangé tous les oeufs. Set. Up next, dial ah for murder. Which murderer committed the worst crime but has the mildest burn? First degree murderer with third degree burns, first degree murderer with first degree burns, second degree murderer with first degree burns, or second degree murderer with second degree burns?
And how do we do? First-degree murder is the most serious murder conviction in the U.S., yet a first-degree burn is the least serious type of burn. Now, how do they sentence arsonists? Hey, question! At Binge Pipe, we value your needs. Would you like a question you've already played, or a question you'll play again later? Use your device to select your preference. Here are the consequences of your choices. You have engaged with the process. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Take a good look at a question you've already played. If Vin Diesel traveled back in time and convinced Jane Austen to write a sequel to one of her classic novels, what Fast and Furious inspired title would it have? Two Crime, Two Punishment, Two Mice, Two Men, Two Cents, Two Sensibility, or Two Harry Potter, Two Prisoner of Azkaban? Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Besides writing Pride and Prejudice, Jane Austen also wrote Sense and Sensibility. Two Cents, Two Sensibility would star Eleanor Dashboard and Edward Ferrari. Yeah, and that joke goes out to all the diehard Austen heads in the house. I see you out there. No, 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 no. Here's one for you. Is there a Mrs. Worldwide? If the rapper Pitbull wanted to honor the origins of the Pitbull, what sexy club scene should he show in his next music video? A Rottweiler grinding on a pug, a Bulldog grinding on a terrier, a Doberman grinding on a Dachshund, or a Boxer grinding on a Shih Tzu? What'd you guys pick? Pit bulls were bred by mating a bulldog and a terrier. Thankfully, we've made it through the only dog sex question in the game. Actually, I can't promise that. Introducing the stupidest question in the whole game. Which of these ebooks is also an ebook? Vince's brother, an entourage novel? Vince's agent, an entourage mystery? Vince's driver, an entourage adventure? Or Vince's manager, an entourage novella? Let's see how that shook out. You're gonna laugh. E was the nickname of Vince's friend and manager on Entourage. Did HBO ever make any shows after Entourage? My mom stopped letting me use her account. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Famous speeches. I hope they still teach speeches in school. Good luck.
4 takes it! Well done, Player 4. You won! Bask in this. Bask in this. Basilisk. Basket. Wait, what was I saying? You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hey, I'm Alice. I'm a writer here at Jackbox Games. Real quick, just wanted to file a complaint because I did write a question called Sigourney Weaver Plays a Big Horny Weaver, and it did not get in, which is just kind of... I mean, think about it. I rhymed Sigourney Weaver with Big Horny Weaver. And before you say anything about rhyming weaver with weaver, the question was about weaving, okay? Or else I would have said something else, like achiever, okay? Sigourney Weaver stars in a big horny achiever. That is funnier. That's funnier. I regret that. Thank you for joining us for this binge pipe bonus content.